Hey y'all, it's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Amazon finally arrived. Woohoo! Hello, hello. And I'm just warning y'all, I've been drinking caffeine because I had to switch over my ribbon. So I finally have Halloween, I've got fall, and I've got Christmas going on. So I needed the caffeine, y'all, because that's a job. That's definitely a job. It is tea, but it's still caffeine. <laughs> So, and I have already started, because this one does take just a little bit of time, because we're using the tree board. Um, so, I have started, um, how, do, how are these numbered? Okay. So, I have done, I have preloaded 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, with the zip ties already closed, okay, because... Our Santa hat is going to sit just like that, okay? So, I've got, I am using the Snow Drift Mesh. It is 10 and a half by 10 yards. Thanks, Joan. I appreciate it. Three times today. Yes, I know. I'll be live in the group, the VIP group tonight. So, and I was already live in there this morning. So this is Snowdrift Mesh that I cut at 10 inches. Now I did not wood burn this because our cut edges are going to be hidden. So don't waste your time in uh, wood burning it because you're not going to see it. So this one you will need about a roll and a quarter. So I think I had 10 cuts off my second roll if I counted right hello hello if y'all wouldn't mind floating my boat I'd appreciate it just hit that little share button um so we've got the mesh we've got a hat now you can use remember when I was at Hobby Lobby the other day and I told y'all to grab some of these these are I kept it just so I could tell you I thought did I throw it away I don't think I did. Oh, here it is. So these are, well, it doesn't tell you, but these are from Hobby Lobby, and they're the snowballs. Okay? So you can use, <laughs> you can use the snowballs, or you could use a red ornament, um, or a white ornament, but I'm going to use this because it does kind of sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. So I think it'll be cool on this mesh. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, hello. So I'm going to bring y'all down and we're going to do a Santa gnome. Y'all know I love me some Santas. Any kind, all kinds. So I'm going to show you how we do the petal. I'm going to do it three times, one for each row. I do already have the other petals already done and ready to throw in. So, now it's cut at 10 inches. Okay, we're going to leave it curved side up. Oh, Big Lots also has them. That's cool to know. I never go in there. I need to. I've got one right down the road. I took the inside of a mesh holder. So, if you want to keep them all pretty much the same size, just use your mesh roller. I learned this from Deanna. She was awesome. Um, so this is where I learned it from. So you're going to take the inside of your mesh roller, put it right in the corner, and we're going to roll it from this corner to this corner. Okay? I was busy, man. I've been working like a dog. Thank you for floating my boat. And then we're just going to roll it. 
And this way, all of your rolls are consistent. Now, if you're good at judging, you are better than me. Okay, now I still have that piece right down here at the bottom. We're going to make sure that that's face down. And then we're just going to pinch it in the middle. Yay, Donna, I'm glad you like it. And then we're just going to flip it so that they're kind of even. Now, these don't need to be perfect. I like that they're not because a Santa beard is kind of all over the place. Um, so I don't mind that these, when you look at these, you can tell they're not because it, it you know, has beard and the, the waves in his beard and stuff. So I think it's cool. Um, and then you just take them and stick them right in to your zip tie. Very easy. Now, if you don't like how this gaps, it's automatically going to gap when you put your two petals together like that. So what you can do is you can run a little bit of glue right down in the middle and hold them together with some clips that way you can get rid of that gap okay um so i will probably go back and do that i'm not going to do it now um, because it would just take too much time but you can see especially on the sides how it causes that gap in the middle there's so much mesh that it does push them together but on the sides it does not um, so just run you a little bit of glue if you want um, and then hold them together with your clips okay no I did not wood burn these because the cut edges you don't see except the very tip here so I didn't worry about it okay so let's go ahead and finish this roll hello hello Now, if you have a smaller hat, you will definitely have to go more up on your board. So it's easy just to take your hat, bring it over it, so you know exactly how far down you need to go. A lot of y'all have asked for the snowflake kit. Um, so the snowflake kit is available again. This will be the last run. This is the third run of those snowflake kits. So this will be the last and final run of them. So grab them. I do have the cat kit back in stock as well. Um, you just made a scarecrow? That's awesome. Yeah, you can do the, the um, I have them right here, the, uh, the hula skirt you can use that for the beard or any regular mesh would work as well how many rolls of mesh it takes one roll plus 10 to 12 I don't remember exactly how many I think it was 10 but it might have been 11 or 12 off the second roll thanks Gloria I appreciate it Thanks, Allison. When you get to the top, can you measure the hat, please? Yes, ma'am. And I will actually, I'll put the link the Amazon link for y'all for the hat but I'll definitely tell you the size as well okay let's show the petal again do you sell the snowflake kit with the glitter rope the snowflake kit comes with the um, do I have some right here it comes with the um, snowflake fake sprinkles well, you probably can't see it now that I 
it's something like this, but it doesn't come, yours does not come with the, the green tinted snowflakes, just the blue and the white. And your um, disc. Oh, here they are. So that's what comes in your kit. They're really cool. All right, purge or surge edge, upper left, bottom right. That way, all of your petals are consistent. Put it right down here at the corner and roll it. Oh, really? Oh, that's crazy. Okay. That edge is going to be face down. Scrunch it. Flip it. And then just put it in your board. No dogs barking yet. Y'all, that creeped me out. I ain't going to lie. Hear dogs barking out of your computer when you know they're not your dogs? <laughs> yes. This is a snow drift. Snow drift. Hello, hello. order for me, right? <laughs> I do have this mesh available when um, for my live sales, but I only do them in the group now. So all of my live sales are there, and this mesh will be one of them. How much are these? This one isn't a kit. I did not wood burn these. You're welcome, Susan. Because the cut ends are inside, you don't even see them. So don't waste your time. Last roll, last petal, cut at 10 inches. Okay, surged edge, upper left, bottom right, roll. Do you know when you do your live sales? I thought about doing one tomorrow um, or Saturday. I wasn't sure yet. Okay, curl it, roll it all the way to the other side. Pull your tube out. Yes, I'm just putting one in each. Okay, there's our tip. It's going to go flat down. Pinch. Flip. Try to get them even, but it's not necessary. I know it is amazing what you can do with these boards. You know, I get questions. Why don't you do... Um, the work frames anymore and my answer is I do um, I love my work frames but I also love the versatility of these boards and you can do so much more with the boards than you can a work frame the work frame I felt like everybody was kind of getting bored with um, but I am gonna do some but when an idea pops in my head I just have to do it y'all 
and they usually end up on these boards because you can do so many different things. Jan, I order. I made another Amazon order, so hopefully this will work. <laughs> I'm experimenting inside the group, y'all, and it, it didn't go so well this morning. Hello, hello. Tomorrow is your vote. That just doesn't want to stay, so let me just grab the last two and put it down. Your Amazon guys light too? Girl, I've been waiting all day on day. Well, my first one came at four this morning, but my one this afternoon was the one I needed for this live and he didn't get here till late. We're making a, a uh, Santa gnome. Last row. Now remember, depending on your size hat will depend on how far you have to go up, y'all. And if you honestly, you don't want it as big as this one, then don't use that bottom row. Okay? So you can totally not use this row if you want. And that will make it just a little bit shorter. Okay? Now, like I said, I will go through... And I will just run a bead of glue in these so that they sit together nicely. But you don't have to. But I will because I don't like the way it it does that. You can see it really well. So I'll go through and glue those in place. Okay. So let's. And I was looking for my batting, and I didn't see any um, quickly. So I'm going to get, I'll get some batting and add inside of this hat. Now this hat is, somebody asked, 18 inches. So 18 inches from here to here. But I will put the link in the comments um, after the live. Okay, so we're just going to feed the hat through here. Now, if you wanted to, you actually could cut, depending on the fabric and how they sew it together, you could cut it in half, and then you would have two hats if you wanted, okay? So it will sit like that. Now I will, like I said, get some batting and put up inside the hat so that it kind of stands up. Or you can use grocery bags and stick them in there, whatever you prefer. Um, but just so that it doesn't sit flat. If you like that look, then leave it flat. That's no big deal. Um, it just depends on, on what you like and what you want to do. Okay. So this will sit like that. Oh, I love this mesh. The glue, yeah, glue them. That way you don't have the, the gap. We all like a thigh gap, but I don't like it on my mesh. <laughs> and then take your nose, whatever nose you wanted to use. And glue it just like that. Now, if you have a red ball, I thought I had one right here, but I don't. Let me... Now, obviously, this one is not big enough. Um, and it's not red enough. This is a burgundy, but just so you know um, or can get an idea of what a red 
nose would look like. Surely I have some red balls here somewhere. Probably on the other side of my room. And right now I'd probably break a neck trying to get over there. But y'all see where I'm going with it, right? So, well, actually, I kind of like the, the colors. So, I will probably get a red nose. But these are so fun. And I love the way they're squishy. <laughs> so, real quick, easy to do. And then I will glue this in place once I um, get my stuff in. And I'll get these tucked in and glued together so you don't see. And then you've got a Santa gnome. Isn't he adorable? Could you use one of the clear balls from Dollar Tree? Absolutely. Absolutely you could. You can use whatever you want, y'all. But I really like him with the red nose. So I probably will um, find a red ornament. They're, oh, I see them. They're actually in my closet. But I will break my neck trying to get over there. So we're not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You could use a Christmas ball ornament. Um, but anything like that will work. How do you hang it? I would... I would probably weave it through the hat. Just make you two little holes. And then um, put your zip tie through those holes and bring them through the hat. Or depending on how your customer wanted to hang them, you could always put a hole, use one of these zip ties down here as your hanger. So it really just depends on how you want to hang it. That was, that was quick and easy, y'all. So you'll need, for this size hat anyway, oh, there went the nose, um, Somebody add this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh well, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 46. So I was right. You, you will need 12 pieces depending on how they size your mesh. You'll need 12 pieces off your second row. So it's not even, it, I mean, it's less than a quarter of the second row. Okay. Love the tick. Yes. Use your batting. Use um, your Kroger bags, especially if it's for you. Throw some Kroger bags up there. Add some, some poof to your hat so it's not just sitting on the board. Um, the hat came from Amazon. I will post the link when I'm done. Can y'all tell I've been drinking caffeine? <laughs> Any other questions? You're obsessed with gnomes? I'm usually not a lover of gnomes, but I love anything Santa, so. All right. Well, that's all I've got for y'all. I'm going to go figure out dinner because we have group tonight. So if you're in group, we will see you there at 7, my time anyway. Um, I don't know that I would use tissue paper, um, especially if you're going to sell it. If you're doing it for yourself, yeah. But if you're going to try to sell them, tissue paper, can if it gets wet, it's done. Um, so I really wouldn't use tissue paper. 
um, use your batting or, or something like that. And you can get a pillow from Dollar General or Walmart or something. Get a big old pillow. It's usually less than five bucks and it's cheaper than going and buying batting. batting. Um, so there are cheaper ways to do that. Oh, that's true. If you don't, how many, how many was on the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, there's only nine on the bottom. So you would still need three pieces off the second row. Now, if you wanted, you could always cut them maybe an inch shorter. Um, and you wouldn't be able to tell that much difference. And you might be able to get enough by using one roll if you cut them an inch shorter than 10 inches so do them all nine and then you might be able to get away with it um i would use these are two inch balls but i would use probably a three to four inch ball um these how big is this this is a two inch what size are these Oh, I'm sorry. These are one and a half inch, 1.5 inch. These are two inch. So I would use a two or three inch ball, but it really just depends on um, what you what you like. <coughs> Deanna, stop it. What is the number on the mesh? The mesh is so it's snow drift mesh. Item number is RY810227. RY810227. Yeah, you could definitely blush, add some blush or something to the nose. That would look actually kind of cute too. Maybe in like a pink or something, a pink blush, because his nose is cold. So. Oh, there y'all go. Ranch House has it. So y'all go get it from Ranch House. Um, and then if you're in the group, it'll be a part of my live sale. But y'all can get it from Ranch House. All right, y'all. I am out of here. I gotta figure out dinner. Oh, yo, yo. Can you show it again, please? Oh. It's not glued down because I do have to, to stuff my hat. I couldn't find it quick enough. So there you go. Or there it is with, now this is burgundy. It's not red, but I would definitely use a red if you're going to add that. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. If you're in the group, we will see you tonight. Um, and if not, tomorrow's Friday, so I have to do something. So I'm sure y'all will see me tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye, y'all.